there, um, I have to tell you, today, right before I went on the air, I saw something from Chris Dodd that just makes my blood shoot out of my eyes. They are, they are taking this country and shoving it right down the crapper. The Federal Reserve, they want all kinds of new power, and they want to be able to oversee companies that might be too big that could hurt us. One of them is General Electric. Think of this, America. General Electric has their hands massively into health care. Hmm, could there be anything there? Energy, news, movies, TVs, jet engines, credit, and consumer appliances. Forget about the refrigerators. It's all of this stuff. Gee, you put this stuff together with the federal government, or worse, the Fed, a black box, you have yourself a nightmare. A nightmare. If you're a fan of uh, uh, Ayn Rand, it was boil steel. My question is, is where is Reardon? Where, was, where is Reardon? Where's Reardon steel? Where is somebody that's willing to stand up to these people? Yaron Brook is uh, here. He is... Um, from the, uh, he's the executive director of the Ayn Rand, uh, uh, what is it, center. Um, I, 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 Yaron, I have to ask you if we've completely lost our mind. We are about to give all of this power to the Federal Reserve. Explain non-conspiratorial <laughs> talk on the Fed. It, gets, it becomes a conspiracy because it's, it's a black box. You can't... There's well, no transparency. It's a conspiracy of government. The Federal Reserve is, is really a government agency. It really is. I mean, and, and I know people say we want more government supervision of the Fed. Do we really want uh, Chris Dodd running the Federal Reserve? No. Uh, you know, the Federal Reserve was created in order to concentrate power. And, and it, in the hands of government, power over the banking system. The banking system, the most important element within capitalism, is completely controlled through the existence of the Fed because they have the monopoly. They have a monopoly over the one product that banks deal with, right? Currency. Money. Money. And they monopolize money. They monopolize it through interest rates, through their buying and selling of, uh, of bonds. It, you know, this is, this is an incredibly powerful institution, I would argue, Put aside Freddie and Fannie and community reinvestment are all bad things, but the number one cause of the financial crisis that we have today, the number one cause of the Great Depression, the number one cause of the 1970s stagflation, inflation, all that mess, Federal Reserve, Federal Reserve bad Federal Reserve policies Nobody, caused all these you know, things. You know, they all say, uh, Alan Greenspan is, uh, you know, they, for a while he was God. Alan Greenspan said, I don't know if you saw this uh, documentary on, I think it was House of Cards or something, it was on another network, it was, it was good. And they talked about um, uh, Alan Greenspan admitted we can't pop a bubble. We can't pop a bubble. Well, then what the hell are you for? <laughs> well, they not create the bubble. They create the bubbles, and indeed they cannot pop bubbles. And this is the real uh, scary thing in yesterday's document. One of the new powers, the Federal Reserve, or one of the new parameters, the Federal Reserve is supposed to examine in determining monetary policy is bubbles. Right? Now, Alan Greenspan, a little bit of history. In 1996, Alan Greenspan said the stock market was too high, irrational exuberance. You remember irrational exuberance? Yeah. He would have popped a bubble in 1996. But there wasn't a bubble until 1999. 1996, 97, the stock market was going up because you know what? American companies were more productive. So, it would, so imagine now, now some home prices went up during previous decades. It wasn't a bubble. It was going up because there was net immigration. People wanted more homes. So how is the Fed going to determine? When something, when an asset value is going up because the market needs it to go up because of supply and demand, or when it's a bubble that it caused, it can't. It, I mean, it can't even prevent the bubbles that it causes. So how's it going to pick bubbles? Um, there's a there's a bill in the House. The, the, the Fed has uh, just, uh, um, uh, for the first time, really has a chance to be destroyed. Um, the House is uh, passing a bill. I think it's 14. I can't remember the number, but it's a, there's a House. There's like 200 sponsors now in the House. It's moving over to the Senate now where uh, DeMint has also, um, uh, has, um, do we have to go to that right now? Sorry. Okay, where the, um, uh, where the um, uh, DeMint has decided that he's going to sponsor it as well. The Fed needs to be shut down. They've just hired a lobbyist who used to lobby for Enron believe it or not. It's horrible. Yaron, I've got to run, but thank you very much. I'm My sorry. pleasure. We've got to run because the uh, lunar launch has, um, uh, is about to happen any minute. There it is. We're going to the moon for some unknown reason. I don't
Maybe Shep will have the details on that and why we're going up there next. Stay tuned.